Disney on Ice presents Worlds of Fantasy at the Wicomico Youth and Civic Center next Thursday through Sunday, and we want to give your family tickets to see the show. We're giving away two family four packs of tickets every weekday beginning tomorrow through February 13th. Now, would you like to find out how you can win? Go to DelmarvaLife.com. You'll find a tab at the top of the website that says show. Click on that to find a complete set of rules and how to enter and good luck. More than 12 years ago, CSI debuted changing the way television dramas would be produced. It changed the way many of us thought of real life crime scene investigation and never before was DNA such a focal point? Fast forward to today. Currently, there are two, version, two versions of the show, CSI, which takes place in Las Vegas, and CSI New York. Now, the two shows are coming together. Today, actors Gary Sinise and Ted Danson sit down with us to give us a sneak peek at the CSI Tonight Two Night crossover thriller. Can I help you with There's been a great tradition of crossovers for the CSI franchise. The story brings Gary to Las Vegas with his girlfriend, who turns up missing, and off we go. Christine! Christine! The CSI Vegas show is like going to the mothership of CSIs. They've got a well-oiled machine over there. My, my set's better than your set. No, I like my set. Um, the idea then was, what if Mac Taylor, if Gary Sinise's character, just happened to be visiting Vegas, possibly with his girlfriend. And then as part of the story, somehow the girlfriend would go missing. Where is she? What the hell's going on? I'll call my team. I just felt a little bit more nervous about my lines and I thought, oh, that's so interesting. It's because Gary's here. And I could feel that everybody was taking it a lot more seriously and wanting to really impress him. He's an actor that I've always looked up to and always wanted to work with. So it's kind of cool that today's the day. First couple of scenes, I had to try not to giggle like a schoolboy because I was happy to be working with him. <laughs> After that, we did giggle we, though. Yeah, we did giggle. <laughs> no one does this over at our set. EB comes to New York to help Mac out. They come to New York, he comes to New York to help out with the other half of the case. When you have a ticking clock episode like this where somebody's life is in jeopardy and it's connected personally, I mean, obviously that raises the stakes up and having uh, a good friend who's committed to helping me find her and save her before it's too late is, uh, makes the episode that much uh, more special. I'm not saying don't do this. I'm just saying you're gonna need my help. I'm coming with you. I'm so accustomed to reading Max character as by the book, by the science, this is how we do things. Again, not to suggest that he's totally out of form, but he, he, he gets a little bit off the rails in this episode. Where is she? Where is she? I do get a few scenes with Ted Danson, which is fabulous. You know, in your mind with Ted Danson, certainly, you keep seeing that character from Cheers. <laughs> He's really good, really good and fun to work with. Anything that's uh, kind of can, can combine all these shows or be something different, something new, I think the, the fans really, really enjoy that. And the way they're collaborating, I mean, really is very special. And I think it's going to be an exciting episode for the fans. And I think it's just going to be an exciting episode for, for even a casual viewer uh, who might tune in. The two-part CSI and CSI New York crossover special starts tonight, 10 o'clock. Part two airs at, uh, at 9 o'clock on Friday night, and you'll see them right here on WBOC. Looking forward to that. Well, thanks for watching Delmarva Life. Be sure to join us tomorrow. We speak with figure skating champion Christy Yamaguchi as she kicks off the one-year countdown to the Winter Games in Russia. Making money without leaving the house, we're going to take a look at the best and worst jobs when it comes to working from home and what scams you need to watch out for. And we're one for one this week in the Where's Brian category. He'll take another stab at, at trying to stump us. Yeah. See if you can help figure out the puzzle along with us. So please be here. Also, <laughs> WBOC's Karen Campbell is going to stop by to show us her Zumba moves. And we're in the kitchen with Galaxy 66. And don't forget, if you missed any of today's information, just visit DelmarvaLife.com. Delmarva Life, life at its best here on Delmarva.